hope you can see me from here. Uh, this is my question and answer, my reply to the hashtag allotment challenge questions and answers. Number one, how long have you had an allotment for? Well, in my case, it's a garden. And I moved here last December. Um, a year ago, two days ago. So, not very long. And it's still a work in progress. Uh, so I didn't have to wait very long for it. Um, again, um, where did I, number, so that's one and two answered together there. Number three, where do you learn about gardening? Well, my grandmother, uh, my late, my late grandmother and grandfather, um, mainly had flowers, but did have the odd tomato and things like that. And of course, from YouTube. I think originally what got me back into gardening was watching the very first TV of the Hulkshire Cultural Channel when I believe it was on the Travel Channel. And that's where you got Claire, if I remember rightly, you had Claire there and you had one or two other people, and I believe she might have been there, unless he was just a camera guy. And I just loved the format of it. One minute you had Claire either at home or on the plot, and you had one or two other people. I cannot remember their names. Um, and of course, Percy Thrower um, and the others. Um, that used to be on Gardener's World. Um, do I plant a... Number four. Do I plant a winter garden? Um, I say yes and no, because at the moment I've got some stuff in the greenhouse that I need to kick myself and get out into the garden. Um, but I'm still working on my growing area. So I've got stuff in the greenhouse waiting to come out um, so hopefully if I can motivate myself I've just been out in the garden at the moment uh, went for a coffee st a tea stop to my neighbour yesterday and her husband gave me some lovely little bulbs to plant which are meant to be perennial excuse me and they come back each year and there's a front garden, it's meant, edge is meant to be all perennial and hopefully they'll keep the weeds down uh, because they like to multiply um, which will be nice um, so I plan to by the end of next year um, number five, what is your biggest success this year or ever? Well, I was saying my chilli plant that I was given by a church friend uh, gave me eight and they're still going strong now. I'm going to try and overwinter them. I don't, I've still got some fruit to take off, so I might take one or two and just leave one or two on there and see if that um, helps them and I bought from a I bought from a stall at a fair some sweet baby peppers and I've only just taken two off the plant now and that's still got flowers on as well so hopefully if the greenhouse doesn't go too cold because it's an unheated greenhouse um, they might produce during the winter um, so I say chilies and my sweet peppers. Uh, where are we? Number six. What has been your biggest gardening disaster? Um, my plastic greenhouse um, that we brought for in, for here. 
when we had the winners earlier in, in in the year, my husband bought it last Christmas for Christmas, and instead of waiting until like the spring, we opened it and it ripped. I mean, I've still got the cover and pieces. I might try and be creative and use them to make mini poly tunnels. So yes, last year's greenhouse was my ultimate um, disaster. Do you have a tried and true crop variety that you would always grow? Yes, I would say my majestic potatoes that I grew for the first time this year. Um, they weren't very big, but they were small enough as it's only just two of us. And I've saved the small ones to plant back next year. I still haven't got round to planting this rare um, baking potato my husband got um, at one of his last jobs. But I will do that. <laughs> um, number eight. Are you planning on trying anything new next year? Well, I would like to do both the globe artichoke and the Jerusalem. Um, I know I've got some globe artichoke seeds, but I haven't got any um, Jerusalem. Excuse me. Hello? Hello? Ah, uh, speaking, what can I do for you? Oh, back again. I forgot to tell you who I was nominating. I nominate or tag um, Brett Pepper and Kelly Kim 29 Garden and Home DIY. It'll be lovely to hear your your answers. Um, so that'll be very nice to hear your responses. Thank you very much. Sorry about that. Um, where were we? Uh, oh yes, we've just done number seven. Do I have a... Do I have a tried and true crop that you always grow? Am I planning any... Oh yes, we were on eight, weren't we? Are you planning on trying anything new or next year? And we were just talking about the globe and Jerusalem artichoke. Um, which would be nice before the phone interrupted us. And I must try and edit that bit out. But never mind, we'll see what happens when it comes to putting it up. How do I preserve my crops? Well, I do freezing. I do make jam. And I'm hoping Brian will give me, or do a lovely video on showing me how to make chutney. Please, I don't know how to make chutney. Um, I know jam, so it should be similar on the similar lines, I would have thought come setting point. Um, would love to get a dryer so I can make apple crisps and things like that. Um, so yeah, yeah, mainly freezing at the moment. Um, would love to do pickling. Um, but I really need, I've got a cold water bath thing I can use. But I really need to have a pressure canner uh, to really be able to store um, things in bottles. What is your favourite... Number 10. What is your favourite meal to cook with fed from the plot? Well, everyone's gone and said it already, haven't they? Which is roast a, a roast dinner. Um... But I also love just uh, whether it's boiled, steamed, or roasted, a plate of vegetables. Um, because there's nothing more nutritious than eating what's fresh at the time. Um, sometimes I do a lovely baked potato with added veg. 
Um, so yes, it can be more than your two threads that I put on my plate. And I will answer the additional one, uh, which is number 11. Haven't, I didn't write it down, but I'll, I'll answer it. Um, what made me come on YouTube? Um, well, wherever I've lived, up until this last place, which is a pavilion down the road where I go to work, I had no neighbours. So, David would go out to work, come back. Yes, I've got the three dogs for company that normally, if I'm filming outside, like to be the star of the attention, especially our chocolate with a stick. Um, so, the main reason I came on YouTube was not only to feel wanted, but to give some love for my heart and to... Um, the people who watch my channel and the channels that I watch and follow um, because I treat you all as one big family some yes I can send cards to and things like that uh, because we're one, one absolutely um, special community and if I did have a car I would very much like to come down to 5th Gregory's uh, plot in London and give her a hand while her hands are un unworkable at the moment while she's recovering from her accident. So I mean if anyone lives near Norfolk and wants to do that and is prepared to come and pick me up on the way I think that would be a really nice Christmas present we could give uh, Phoebe and prep her garden or at least pull all the weeds up. And then, because we are one big community on YouTube, some of us don't always get down to the shows in London and things and meet up, but the ones who can, it's really nice. If not, I'll be with you in spirit if anyone thinks it's a good idea of doing. And it's been lovely taking part, and I hope you enjoyed my answers apart from when the phone went. And... I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless until my next video.